Okay, I was involved in a thread the other day where one of the complaints was about the number of tracks that you could have visible at any one time with useful information in X1 uh, compared to previous versions. Well, here's how I do that in X1. It's slightly different to the way that I'd do it in previous versions, but as you can see, you'll see lots of info, uh, lots of tracks, and you can still see the selected waveform uh, and also obviously reveal lots more waveforms as well very quickly if you want to. So here we've got a, a whole load of tracks in the track view and I'm going to bring up a console view by pressing Alt 2. That will bring that up in a multi duck at the bottom, probably looking something like that with quite wide strips uh, and really how you modify this is up to you. I'm going to hide the mains, I'm going to show the buses because I want to see my master bus and I'm also going to narrow all strips because obviously that maximizes the number of tracks that I can see which is uh, one of the complaints and I'm now going to drag the buses across open up the track view so I can still see my master bus meter and obviously now see lots of tracks I believe there's about 29 of them all together on my monitors which aren't particularly big but uh, obviously use those of you with bigger monitors will probably see up in the 30s somewhere uh, and from there I'm going to click and drag the console view up and leave a gap at the top there. Now how big a gap you leave depends on how much you want to see in the console view down at the bottom here and how many tracks you want to see at the top there. Uh, personally I like to just see one track that's fairly wide uh, which you can do by selecting all tracks by pressing Control A. Hold the shift key down, click and drag the track down until it fills the gap and click. Uh, and that will have resized all of the tracks to that size. So now, if I want to see uh, a waveform, obviously looking at the waveform of track 21, which is highlighted there, if I want to see my kick drum, I just click there and there's a waveform up there. Uh, and that happens for which, whichever uh, track I clip on, click on. There's uh, some MIDI files, no info in there. So you can see MIDI tracks there. Of course, they're all selected. That's why they're all darkened now. If I deselect everything that's a bit better you can see it now and obviously what's showing in here is is entirely up to you you know some people will want uh, all the effects some people won't some people want the pro channel but you can obviously pick and choose the modules from there uh, for example let's just hide me in out that just creates a bit more space up there I don't really want to see that at this view options there to uh, fix what you see compact uh, pro channel whether you want to show effects or not it's really up to you how you do it but as you can see the uh, narrow view is not ideal because it does con contract some of the names, but uh, you've always got the pop-up such as that there. And if you've got something that's a little bit ambiguous at the back in vocal there, just click on the track there. And of course that brings up the full name there. Now if you want to see all the waveforms quickly, just press D. We'll hide uh, the console view. You can see the waveform that you, you may be looking for and bring it all back again by pressing D. But of course, you've only got to click on the track in the console view and that's going to bring the waveform up at the top there if that's important to you. Anyway, not ideal maybe, but I hope that helps someone. Thanks.